Okay, good morning guys. Um, this is just a quick recap. One of the questions you should have done for homework and I'm just going to go through the method that we discussed yesterday. So we've got a ratio of 6 litres to 72 kilometres, i.e. for every 6 litres of, six liters of petrol you'll travel 72 kilometres. So as we discussed yesterday, ratio is all about relationship. So we used a spider diagram to describe that. So the 6 litres the one number has a relationship with the other number and that relationship is defined by a mathematical operation and it's always going to be times or divide and in this case because 6 to get to 72 must you must have to multiply and in this case it's going to be uh, multiplied by 12 and what's very important is to realize that if you are going to work in the reverse direction which we are going to have to do in this question so if we need to go from, let's say, for example, the 72 to the 6, you're always going to have to do the inverse operation, which is to divide by 12. Okay, so these are two very important principles that we deal with in ratio. So let's just start by answering question A1, um, and I'll also answer question B1 so that you can see both these principles being applied. Okay, so I'm just going to make a little bit more space. So question A1, let's go back to the white pen. Um, it's saying calculate the distance it would travel if the petrol tank contained 54 liters. So here I've got 54 liters and I want to work out how far that's going to travel and I've worked out the relationship is defined by being multiplied by 12, so I've actually in the end just got to multiply 55, 54 by 12. Okay, you guys are going to have to go and actually work that out um, just using multiplication, but I'm in Cape Town, so I'm just going to use my calculator, and that comes out at 648 uh, kilometers. So with 54 liters of petrol in the same ratio as 6 is to 72, with 54 litres, you will travel 648 kilometres. Okay. Then, just an application of the reverse part of the, the principle. If you look at question B1, so I've skipped a f two questions that you guys are going to practice, but question B1, you're now travelling, uh, it says 36 kilometres, so you're going 36 kilometers, which is on this side of the spider diagram. Going in that direction, we're going to have to divide by 12, and we need to work out how many liters of petrol you'll get if you travel 36 kilometers. So 36 divided by 12, hopefully that can be done in your head, and that's going to give you an answer of 3. So your answers um, for that question... Well, that's obviously you must give the units as three liters, so B1 is there in red, and your answer for A1 was 648 kilometers.